Notion just dropped its biggest update of 2025, and it's a game changer. Get in the comments, okay? From one-click workflows to AI-powered setups, these updates will completely change how you use Notion. But if you're not paying attention, you might miss out on some of the most powerful productivity tools they've ever added. I've spent years mastering Notion, building templates used by thousands of people, and helping others simplify their workflow. So I've gone deep into this update, testing out every new feature and figuring out what actually matters to you. By the end of this video, you'll have a faster, smarter, and more automated Notion setup, one that practically runs itself. No more wasting time on repetitive tasks or manually setting up your workspace. Instead, you'll have a system that works for you, not the other way around. But if you ignore these updates, you're going to fall behind. See, Notion is evolving into something way more powerful. Who's that Pokemon? It's the Notion 2.48 update. And if you're still using it the old way, you're wasting hours every single week. Plus, some of these new features will completely change how you organize your tasks and meetings. So, skipping them might cost you more time than you actually realize. Here's what we'll discuss today. A hidden automation that will stop you from manually tracking recurring tasks. A simple change that prevents people from messing up your shared documents. A privacy update that could save you a major headache with team workspaces. An update with Notion Calendar. And finally, a feature that lets Notion build entire workflows for you by literally just describing what you need. Now, even with a solid system such as a Headquarters here, cough, cough, hint, hint, link in the description. Repetitive tasks can slow you down. That's why Notion's recurring database automations are a game changer. So you can automatically update pages on a schedule with recurring database automation. Now there is one problem. So I'm here in headquarters and what you'll do is click here on this automations button. And this here is what you're seeing. So for all pages in my task list, which is my database of tasks. And then here it says when. So here we'll decide what will trigger this automation. Now, as you can see, this every here does require the plus account. So if you do want to set up recurring automations, then you will need the plus account. I have the plus in my personal account. I really recommend it. See, with these automations, you can eliminate busy work. But let's say you're working in a team and you have shared documents. Well, accidental permission errors can cause serious problems. You might have been locked out of a document before that you needed, or even worse, given access to the wrong person without even realizing it. Now, Notion makes it very obvious who has access to your docs, so you never have to deal with request access emails again. So if you haven't shared before in Notion, all you have to do is go up here and click on the share button. Now it's very easy to see who has full access, mixed access, and who can just view. But I know what you're thinking. Sometimes sharing data in Notion can be risky, especially if you're using forms to collect responses. So let's just create a form really quick by forward slash form, click here on form. So let's just say company ideas, for example. You're working at a company and people wanna pitch their ideas. Well, if you click here on share form, then here you can see who can fill this out. And right now it's anyone in this workspace with a link can fill this out. But here's the interesting bit access to submissions. Right now we have no access, but we can change this to can view, can comment, can edit, and full access, meaning we have more control now. But of course you can keep it as no access. See, now you can restrict viewing privileges so others in the workspace can only see their own submissions, not the entire database of responses. By the way, if you find Notion overwhelming and you just want an all-in-one solution, I've put everything into headquarters, my premium Notion template. It is built around the world's best productivity methods. It's got over 2,500 users and a five-star rating. You can check it out. It is linked below in the description. But look, if you are trying to learn Notion, then there is this new update that will blow your mind. Let's just write a budget tracker here, right? So if we now do forward slash database, as I always do in my tutorials, and we'll click here on table view, there is this new crazy update called build with AI. And I've been playing around with this and it is absolutely insane. So what I can do here is say, build a budget tracker database for me. I want to track my spending, in which categories I'm spending, and when I've spent it. And then I'll click here. So now what it does is using AI, it literally builds the database for me. This is absolutely crazy. So it's built this and I'll click here on done. And as you can see, it has built this for me. So we have the transaction. Let's say I bought Notion Plus. 
I could say the date here. So let's say today's date. The amount, I think it's 10 bucks per month. And I could say the category here. And it's even added these. I didn't add these. It automatically added these as well. So food and dining, transportation, entertainment, bills and utilities, blah, blah, blah. Instead of manually adding properties and building this database, you can let AI do that for you. But let's say you already have an incredible Notion workspace such as headquarters and you have clicked this button here called open in calendar. So your Notion calendar is connected to this workspace here. So if I add something in here, test, as you can see, it appears up here. And of course, you know, if I drag this here, seven to nine, automatically it now says seven here, seven to nine on this task here. We all know that that's nothing new. But one of the big problems is if I want to share availability. So if I click this here and I draw in this here, the problem is it stays active forever, which can lead to outdated bookings and a bunch of problems. Let's have that meeting. Let's have we, that meeting. We're having that meeting right now. Well, Notion just did this cheeky little update here. As you can see, it says expiration date. So if we click this in here, we can actually say when we want this link to expire. So with this update here, you can avoid those surprise meetings. And yes, all these updates work with headquarters. So if you want to see the full tool for my template, then click on this video here. It's my Notion template built around the best productivity methods in the world. It's got a five star rating, 2,500 users. It's changed my life and so many others. Click here to check out the full tool. Thanks for watching.